Segment 22 of the Colorado Trail is about 17 miles with 3,800 feet of elevation. Those two numbers are very important, but what's most important I think about this segment is how exposed it is and how exposed 23 is really too. It's summer, it's monsoon season, and uh, getting off and out of bad weather is gonna be our key focus today. So uh, we're not sure how far we're gonna go, but we'll obviously keep you guys posted along the way. As always, for a full free trail guide of segment 22 of the Colorado Trail, you can check the links in the description. So a lot of segment 22 here is gonna be on four by four roads, which is the first section you start off on here. And you got about two and a half miles of that. Aria leading the way, so 2.6 in, and you got your first trail junction, so you're gonna leave this Jeep road and hop on the single track to the top of this little hill right here. This is Aria's first segment of the Colorado Trail. Unfortunately, Juno is no longer with us. She's here in spirit, and she'll be finishing it with us as a pack, but Aria's doing pretty good. She is on a waist leash, so I'm attached like this and then we switch off. It is much nicer, no, not to speak ill of the dead, much nicer than carrying around a big ass heavy leash. And uh, we want this to be kind of Aria's way of hiking long distances with us. So, so far it's working out pretty well. We are gaining uh, this little hill here. We're gonna have another one to gain. This segment you'll gain the highest point of the Colorado Trail, which is like 13.2 something. Pretty insane. Since it's tundra and not a summit either, you can um, summit a 13er, which we'll show you probably, hopefully, later. Just about four miles in, and the San Juans officially welcome you to the Colorado Trail. Insane. beginning of this video I talked about how this section segment was exposed there's Jackie for scale next up you're gonna be working up this hump here over and down insanely beautiful views but no coverage whatsoever luckily you will have these views for pretty much the rest of this segment and most of the next one as well so you have plenty of time to soak up the San Juan beauty down here from a personal standpoint, we had ambitiously hoped to get like 20 miles today. You really have a choice to make. Once you hit like mile nine or 10, you have to commit to sending it to 20 after that. Uh, if you're looking to camp or if you're looking to get out of the elements. Uh, we'll talk about that probably more tomorrow, the Carson Ridge uh, and the high point of the Colorado Trail. For now, the update is that likely we're gonna end up camping only nine or 10 miles in. And that's not because we're tired, but it's because the clouds are definitely starting to build and we'd rather kind of stay dry for the most part today and likely get wet tomorrow and probably Sunday as well. And so it just makes the most sense for us to kind of ease into this weekend versus try to push through and be in a dangerous situation. Avoiding the radio tower, Looking back, all the way back there, ahead of you here, you got some cool views of uh, sunshine and red cloud. There's some centennials in here as well. Really pretty. Once you're up to the top of this, you'll have a nice little descent 
some decent camping options and some water as well. Really, it has been dry for the first nine of this segment so far. Closer look, the two centennials to your right. You got red cloud and sunshine kind of center here. Those are 14ers up into uh, American Basin. And of course, where we're headed next. I'm excited to see the yurt that's on the trail. Colorado Foundation has a yurt. So we're about seven miles in now, gaining the saddle here. A little rain started. So far, not terrible. Uh, but it is just looking ahead is unbelievably gorgeous. So excited for it. But today we're definitely going to be stopping at that 910 marker. So we're going to leave this Jeep road, which we've been following for pretty much the whole day, and finally get off onto a single track here. 8.7 miles into the segment here, segment 22, and this is your water source. You might be able to tell there is some flow to it, but even with all this rain in early, early July, it's still like not great so here's the yurt we were talking about don't really know much about this so check the full trail guide i'll put more information about it in addition to all the climbing and exposure this section uh, segment has water is the other big problem there are some other places you can get it you just have to go pretty far off the trail to do so this is the only one in the entire segment that is actually on um the trail minus there was a spot right at the start at like two and a half miles so Probably good to be really carrying a lot of water, especially if you're coming here in the hot months. After leaving that water source, you have a kind of a decision. You can keep going to about mile 10, and that's when you'll lose tree coverage. And basically from 10 until, I don't know, another 12 miles or so, you'll have no water and no trees. So very, very, very exposed. And if weather is looking bad, Carson Saddle is definitely not the place you want to end up. Well, life comes at you fast in the mountains. We got to just below tree line, so we're like just a little bit over nine miles in to segment 22 here. And um, you might be able to hear it's raining. There's also a lot of thunder going on in the area. We have service actually, so we checked the forecast and looks like the next three hours are going to be pretty terrible and judging by the way the sky looked that tracks so just gonna post up here in the tent and hopefully not call it a night but <laughs> if we have to uh, it's not terrible progress for the first day morning so we are back on the trail after spending the night in the same spot I showed you last night weather was hit or miss all afternoon we had a pretty good window around five o'clock six o'clock but by the time we would have gotten packed up we still wouldn't have made it over the saddle here so back on the trail beautiful morning so far where we ended up camping right below tree line so right around the nine and a half mile mark there's actually a handful of pretty good spots the theme of today is going to be climbing we have quite a bit of it to finish out this segment and then really to start segment 23 as well Next up is to gain this hump on the way to your high point of the Colorado Trail. See Jackie and Aria way over there. We'll have to dive into this in our Q&A after, but Jackie and I are definitely saying that this segment, segment uh, 22 here is easily a top three segment so far.
definitely the biggest climb of segment 22 so far. Although the rest of the segment is dry in terms of water, you can see there's some ponds down in this area. Now, the trail is way up here. So each case, it's about a 400 foot drop and at least a half mile to get each way to get to these water sources. But if you are in dire need of water, they're pretty reliable. So you always have the option Two badass women making it up a really tough climb here. Aria's a little scared, Jackie's a little winded, but we're doing good. Okay, up on the uh, next part here, next little uh, saddle, I guess. So your high point, you can kind of see in the distance, it's back here. In the meantime, you're gonna have some rollers for the next couple of miles and uh, then dip down before making your final climb up to, I think it's like 13.4 or something. And that's the high point of the Colorado Trail. Another set of ponds down here and the trail is up here. So again, like a pretty big descent and a detour to get water. Squad's all here at the uh, high point of the Colorado Trail. Absolutely stunning up here. And uh, not the first climb, like the very first climb was probably the worst one. And um, yeah, we're gonna take some time to remember Juno up here and uh, keep going. But certainly doesn't feel like the high point compared to some of the things you've summited on the CT so far, but just because rolling meadows and elevation this is it high point of the ct there if you want to tag carson peak which is a 13er just kind of head up these slopes i'm gonna go tag it real quick it's only about 70 feet of gain it looks like maybe 300 400 yards it's a 13er it's not like top 200 or anything crazy but hey if you want to tag a summit while you're here you might as well All right, summit here. If you are gonna summit this 13er, unbelievably insane views to the north. As you get to this intersection here, I'm gonna take the trail, it's very well marked. You could just take the 4x4 road. They're both going to get you to the same spot. But in either case, you're going to get kind of down to this point right here and then continue dropping from there. Not really a dramatic ending, besides the views, of course, to segment 22, but here we are. This is the end of segment 22 of the Colorado Trail. Right over this way here, you're gonna join segment 23 and uh, we'll keep that in a separate video. Jack, what'd you think of segment 22? Besides the Taylor Swift song, which you've been singing for hours. That is not true. <laughs> it was beautiful. A woman of few words. 
Uh, honestly, I think Segment 22 is probably the best one of the CT so far. Uh, you just can't go wrong with the views. The negatives, if there are some, would be lack of camping. You really have no options after the first nine miles. And lack of water, which there is basically none, especially if you're coming here later in the year. We're gonna continue on in Segment 23 right behind me here. For those of you who don't wanna keep watching, that's your prerogative. For those of you who do, I'll link that in the description below. As always, for a full free trail guide of Colorado Trail Segment 22, you can check the link in the description below. On behalf of Aria, Jackie, and myself, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you either really soon or on the next adventure.